<sighs> all right let's talk about Fujifilm in 2024 and all the products and maybe firmware updates that we are expecting for next year So first of all, let's talk about the X100 series. The X100V needs, I think, no introduction. It is one of the most popular products from Fujifilm, but the X100V came quite a few years ago now and is ready for an update. The next model should be called the X100R, R for Roku, Roku means six in Japanese, and should hopefully come in 2024. Now, when exactly in 2024, we don't know yet, but I would say maybe first quarter. We don't know, but because CP Plus is coming in February, it might be a good idea for Fujifilm to announce new product before that so that they can showcase those products. And hopefully I can go to CP Plus this year and maybe get my hands into the new Fujifilm X100. So what can we expect for the Fujifilm X100R? Well, I assume that the X100R will have a new sensor, maybe the same sensor as the Fujifilm X-T5. So that will make it a 40 megapixel uh, X100, which is pretty much the first one in this uh, category. When it comes to the lens, I think that Fujifilm will not change that lens because the lens is already very good. Uh, the 23mm f2 that it's using, which is a 35mm equivalent, is very versatile, is very fitted for this particular use, which is pretty much daily usage. So the X100R would, I think, come with maybe a new sensor, the older lens, as well as the new AI capabilities, which is subject detection of uh, humans, as well as car, plane, and animals, etc. So hopefully we will see the new X100 model this year and make sure to subscribe if you want to know more about it. Next, another very popular model is the X-Pro series. Now the X-Pro 3 has been released also quite a long time ago. So I think that in 2024 is time for an update. And once again, it's pretty much the same deal between the X100 and the X-Pro. I think that it will also have the same sensor as the X-T5, the 40 megapixel sensor. But this particular camera comes with interchangeable lens, so no lens here to be uh, very attached with. And the X-Pro3 has been very popular among photographers, so we also can expect this camera to be maybe released early um, 2024, we don't know. It would be great if they announced the X-100 and the X-Pro before CB+. That would be just an amazing experience to have and tons of new product from Fujifilm, but not, nothing is confirmed yet. And by the way, let me know down in the comment, but would you rather get an X100 or an X-Pro camera? Next, when it comes to the GFX. Well, the GFX 100 the second just got released, right? So you would think that, okay, maybe no more GFX is coming, but it seems like there is a rumor currently ongoing, and you can see that on Fuji rumors, by the way, that the GFX 100S Mark II is also coming next year. So if that's the case, that would be an extra camera that is coming, and that would give a slightly more affordable um, medium format camera. But when it comes to specs and exactly the resolution, etc., I don't know yet. There is no confirmation at the moment of the specs of this camera. So we will see when it gets released and make sure to subscribe if you want to know more about this camera as well. Next is the firmware updates. And I feel like I've been repeating that a long, for a long time now, but, and I'm not the only one who's saying this, but we've been asking for Fujifilm to get firmware update for the X series, XT and XH. And the features that we are looking for and we are asking for, pretty simple, realized film simulation, which I think is really good and should be um, basically uh, transferred from the GFX line to the XT and the XH line, where I think most users would benefit from. Also, the video monitoring features, 
especially in the X-H line because those are the video centric cameras. Right now you don't have monitoring features such as Vector or, or Parade and you have access to this technology in the GFX which has the same processor as the X-H so there is no reason why they would not be able to port it. Also something else is the anamorphic internal disqueeze is something that I think people who are using the Fujifilm X camera could benefit from. If you want to adapt an anamorphic lens from let's say Siri or any other brand onto your Fujifilm camera, currently you need to have an external monitor to be able to desqueeze the image and you don't need to do that on the GFX, it can be desqueezed internally. And finally on the XS20 that I also tested on the channel by the way, you also have the full automation of subject detection. Basically if you put the camera in auto mode, the camera will be able to automatically detect the kind of subject that you are trying to capture, which can be a car, an animal, a human, a bird or whatever. And they will be able to, I mean the camera will be able to switch to that mode to track the subject which is not the case right now on the X-H2S, which is way more expensive than the X-S20, for example, and is not able to do that. So you have to manually set the subject detection for you to be able to track the right kind of subject. Now, the autofocus works perfectly, but still it would be nice to have this kind of feature on the more expensive X-H2S or X-T5. And finally, one more rumor that is running around at the moment is the Mark II of the kit lens, the 18-55, which apparently now is going to be a 16-50 with the new design of lenses from Fujifilm. And additionally, this lens is going to be an internal zoom. So kit lens, internal zoom, instead of the usual 18-55 uh, zoom lens from Fujifilm that is an external zoom. I think also that the aperture is going to change I forgot the exact value, but I'm gonna put, put it on the screen somewhere. I think it's 2.8 to something. So this is also a lens that maybe we will see now sold as a kit lens with the new cameras. Now, it's great that Fujifilm is trying to update this lens, but I don't think that this lens in particular needed some update, honestly. Of course, we will need to test it um, optically to see if it as good as the 18 to 55 which is actually a very good lens for the price point uh, at which it is sold so yeah looking forward to that too let me know also what is your most anticipated product and favorite product for next year we don't know yet if everything is confirmed but that's the rumors that are running around at the moment thank you for watching today's video and if you've missed it, check out this video right here, where I talk about my experience with the X-H2S after one year of use. I'll see you there.